Hello, here Brewing Company here. Welcome to my beer library where I do beer reviews in a beer vlog. That's what we're doing today, kids. That's why we're here. So, I live in Southern Ohio, and uh, for those of you who don't know, that's Ohio. And we are going to be trying a brewery from Ohio. This is from Millersburg Brewing Company. Um, Millersburg, Ohio. It is Lot 21 Blonde Ale Wild Rosy. Not just another blonde. Uh, brewed and canned at Millersburg Brewing Company, Millersburg, Ohio. 5.5% alcohol by volume. Lot 21 Blonde Ale, and then it says, named after the first settlement in Millersburg, which is, I'm assuming is Lot 21. Um, you know when it's a true blonde. So on the front, it's got a horse with like blonde hair. See it? That's wild rosy. And then on the back of the can, it has the horse's tail. And that's when it says, you know when it's true blonde. I get it. I see what you did. I like it. All right. Uh, it says crisp and refreshing. I do prefer blondes. <laughs> so. And those of you who know me know my wife is very blonde. It's a little bit darker than um, like a typical blonde. So this is more like a dark urine, -y, a dark urine color. Uh, Smells kind of like florally-ish. So kind of like if you went into like a uh, the floral department at your grocery store and you're walking around in there and they got like all the cut roses and cut flowers and whatnot. It's kind of what that smells like. Not horrible, but... Oh, that's good. That's good. That's a solid flavor right there. So it has kind of like a spiced, um, kind of like a spiced beer flavor to it, which is not what I've expected from something this light. It doesn't taste like a typical blonde um, to me, like the blondes that I've had. Maybe I've just had, you know, blondes that have stuff added to it or, or taken away, but it tastes not like a, a like a lager either. Or like an ale. It's really good. Now, now it kind of, it has that blonde aftertaste. I can kind of taste it now. So it tastes like a, um, to me, it tastes like an Oktoberfest. Um, and uh, with like a blonde aftertaste. So like you got like some spices or whatnot in there. That, uh, that give it a little oomph, which is not really spices, it's probably just grains. But to me, it tastes like spices, that's why I say that. So, that's a pretty good beer though. Um, I've never heard of this brewing company, and I live in Ohio. So if you've heard of this brewing company and you're like, oh yeah, I have their you know, beers for years, um, rhymes, uh, leave a comment below. If you, if this is the first time you're hearing of this, Brewing company, just like me, I seen it at the store, and I was like, "Hey, I'll try that." Leave a comment below. What's your favorite blonde? The reason why I'm trying blondes is I'm getting ready to make a blonde, so I want to know what you like about blondes, um, not the females, and what you don't like about a typical blonde. Like I don't like a blonde to be too hoppy. That's me. I don't like a blonde to be extremely hoppy. If you have a blonde that's too hoppy, that's called an IPA. Uh, totally different category, same color, but too hoppy is an IPA. So um, with a few more hops to this or any other blonde, it could be, it could go that way. So that's just me, that's me though. What do you like about blondes and what you don't like about blondes? Leave that in the comment below. If you've heard of this company or this, uh, this brewery, leave it in the comments below. And, um, out of a hundred, hundred being the best blonde I've ever had, 
uh, zero being the worst, I would give this a uh, 78. Uh, really good beer, solid flavor. Um, it seems like every time I take a drink, the flavor's changing. Even then, like it's, it's tastes different than the first time I drank it. So it's like evolving in my mouth. Crazy. So go give them a try. Um, really good beer. Like I said, uh, I would love to, uh, find out where exactly it is. Never even heard of that city. Um, and I live in little cities. So, and, uh, I would love to try some more stuff from them. Um, Cheers. Try something new today.